Mary, who is uh, the spokesperson of the National Drug Authority, to speak to us on the matter and uh, what the stand of National Drug Authority is on this very subject. A very good afternoon and thank you once again for being with us this Sunday. Uh, thank you for having me and uh, good afternoon to the viewers of NTV. Um, the issue of closing uh, private uh, pharmacies within government uh, hospitals is a directive we received um, the order we received on Friday uh, from our, the Minister of Health directing us to implement uh, the directive that the President had issued in 2019. So to give you the background, in 2019, uh, in December, the President issued a directive to the Minister of Health to close with immediate effect all the pharmacies that were in government uh, hospitals. In his view, he thought it was not necessary because uh, the government of Uganda procures essential drugs which should be uh, given free of charge uh, to those who uh, go to access medication in government hospitals. Um, as National Drug Authority, before we could implement uh, that directive, uh, the president uh, advised the minister again, the minister of health, to stay or to hold on implementing his area directive until he consults with the stakeholders. On Friday, uh, which is 4th of March uh, this week, we received instructions from the minister, uh, who is our uh, policy uh, supervisor, to go ahead and implement the area, the first directive. And uh, we swung in action. We got the, uh, the, the instructions in the morning of Friday. And by 2 p.m. we had instructed all uh, the pharmacies uh, to close. The uh, private pharmacies. The private, pharma the private pharmacies within uh, government uh, hospitals. And I'm happy to report uh, that uh, all the pharmacies, uh, pr the two that were existing within Morago, uh, closed. Uh, Friday night, um, the others, who I, who I, the one was in Hoima, another one in Mbarara. Um, the, there was the, an illegal one in Kawempe, and all those have been closed. Uh, but also we've instructed uh, the management of all government hospitals not to enter into any memorandum of understanding with uh, private pharmacies. Uh, because we will not uh, grant them license. As a National Drug Authority, we offer a license without looking, we don't interest ourselves on the tenancy, who owns uh, what premise, because we, the issues of uh, tenancy are between our clients and their landlords. So we only come in to look at if you meet the guidelines that are stipulated uh, in uh, our regulations of issuing a, a license to uh, a pharmacy. So that's, that's where we, we, we stop in. Uh, but of course, as, as the regulators, we are the ones who issue the license. And when the government issues a new policy, uh, we come in to implement. So the concerns that have been going on that we received uh, uh, the directive in 2019 and it has taken us this long to implement is because people did not know the background that actually the president advised us to hold on implementing that uh, same directive until uh, he's ready. And when he has become ready, we've acted within a record of four hours. Well, clearly I can uh, already tell the, the stand of National Drug Authority, but again, one would wonder, is this coming from a, a point of view that these private pharmacies are competing with the government pharmacies? Is that the issue? What exactly is stopping or is pushing for this directive? Uh, like I mentioned, this is a new um, government policy. Yes. Uh, the president, who is the fountain of honor, thought in his wisdom it was not proper to have government, uh, to have private pharmacy within government uh, hospital. When government procures essential drugs that should be given free of charge to those who go to these government uh, hospitals. One. Uh, he highlights in the letter that I saw of why would we have a pharmacy within a government uh, hospital. Is it because government does not have the, the drugs or 
there is no capacity to, to dispense government drugs. So you, you clearly see where he's coming from. He fears uh, having uh, private uh, pharmacies within government uh, hospitals who would interfere with dispensing government drugs. Of course, looking at issues of corruption, and um, which are not far-fetched. We all know that actually government uh, loses a lot of uh, the drugs uh, to corruption cartels. Now, just to briefly comment on the conversation that is on ground in regards to, you know, the pushing away of uh, private pharmacies. Uh, a lot of people really believe that the private pharmacies seem to provide more medication than the public pharmacies. What is your comment on that? And how are we then going to navigate that? If you can please comment on that. As a national drug authority, one, one of the key mandates we have is to make sure there is accessibility of drugs. And mm -hmm. access is, uh, goes with, one, the drug being on the market and how it can easily be accessed. Yeah. When the president asks us to close the pharmacies that are within the establishment, for example, in Morago, he's not asking us to close those that are outside the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, we have several options in Wandegea uh, that people can walk to, uh, even uh, as close as the entrance of Morago Gate. I think the president's uh, directive is in good faith that let the, the doctors prescribe what is available for government, and if there are those that, could, that are not, you know, available in the government uh, drug outlet within the hospital, then someone can go out. Then having, you know, a, a private uh, pharmacy within the hospital that would, you know, uh, interfere with the dispensing of the essential drugs that the government procures. All right, Abias Ramiri, the spokesperson of National Drug Authority, speaking to us on the matter of a private pharmacy.